Buildings, you have 1328 left. Thank you, Judge. I don't think that'll be an issue. <coughs> Folks, let me just say this. Mr. Brooks stands here and professes to speak to you from his heart. He plays on your sympathy, he talks about his children, he talks about the hardships that he's encountered and his family's encountered. And he brushes over the loss to the community. He wants to talk about how he's never held his newborn son never once acknowledges the Sorensen family. The Owen family. The Duran family. The Hospital family. Kulik family, Sparks family, never once. It's nice that Mr. Brooks can get letters from his loved ones. I don't know why he did this. I told you that. But actions define a person. It's that simple. You can stand with the Bible in your hands all day long and profess to be the finest man under God that you can be. But when you drive through a parade route and roll over children children with band instruments to the extent that your vehicle heaves up and down. Your intent is known, Mr. Brooks. It doesn't have to be guessed. It's known. You don't have to stand and wonder as he claims to. For him to keep going after he drove over those children in the band and have Jackson Sparks fly off the front hood of his car, lifeless, and keep going. And have Jane Kulik fly off the, light, the hood of his car, run her over, and keep going. I'm not going to go on. You get it. You need to look in the mirror, Mr. Brooks. If you want to accuse me of practicing my closing <coughs> argument, you need to look in the mirror, sir. Your actions are that of a murderer. You murdered these six people. You endangered the safety of 61 others. There are 68 victims in this case, folks. That's not an accident. That's not a, gee, I woke up one day and don't know how I found myself in this position. If you have some explaining to do to your children, Mr. Brooks, I recommend you do it. This is Sue Opper. She rebuttals his closing arguments because she still had minutes she could use up. And she did amazing work. Four minutes, but it is amazing, you guys. I uh, added stuff into the video, um, and I want to say to the Sparks, Durand, Sorensen, Kulik, Owen, and Hospital families, I've been praying for you guys. I love Waukesha. I've been there. That's where my father lived. That's his hometown. And it just has a special place for me. And so I just really felt the need to 
do this video and upload it.